Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we are going to go on a bit of a raccoon hunt and we are going to be using a gun that I have seen quite a few requests for me to use against the raccoons and uh, that gun is the 10 gauge lever action shotgun. This thing is uh, pretty great. I do think it's going to be a good option for uh, taking down the raccoons uh, because you can do the uh, bird shot for them and I think it's going to be pretty effective. Uh, 12 gauge birdshot and 20 gauge birdshot work super super good on the raccoons. I couldn't imagine 10 gauge not being just like miles better even so this is going to be a fun one. I can already tell and we're going to be kind of learning some of the locations that raccoons can also be feeding because I really haven't done a ton of searching for zones for them and I've had a lot of people ask me what are some good places for raccoons. So this is also going to be a bit of a learning video where we're just trying to discover as much as we can and that way I can pass the information on to you guys. There we go, we got our first warning call from a raccoon. Now uh, what we're going to do is move out of this cornfield so we can actually see this thing a little bit better. And uh, then we're going to start calling. And hopefully we can get this thing to come over to us pretty quickly. I did forget to mention, there, act there actually is two different feeding times for the raccoons. Uh, one of them is 3.30 to 6.30 and that is the feed zone we're going to be hunting. But there's also one starting like 20 to 0 I think. If I'm not mistaken, so there's a couple options you have for hunting the raccoons in their feed zones. I am personally doing the earlier one just because it'll be a little bit more in the daytime and that's a different raccoon right there. Okay, let's be really careful and try to get to the tree line over here. You know, just your average day hunting on Mississippi acres, crawling through the mud in the pouring down rain. This is a pretty, pretty common occurrence here. It uh, rains quite a bit here on Mississippi Acres, and I know that's been a pretty, pretty uh, heavy talking point for a lot of people. A lot of people are not exactly too keen on the whole raining 24-7, and I can totally understand why. Uh, it does kind of fit the area, but it is a bit rough to have it raining 24-7 in-game. I have got lucky where most of the time I haven't had to deal with the extreme rain, but uh, recently I'm seeing it a lot more and I'm starting to understand why people don't like it. Okay, so one of them's really close. I just heard it make a call. The question is where? Oh, right there. There's a level three. It's a nervous. Interesting. So that means we spooked it off at some point, but it still came to the call. Interesting. So I guess guess we'll uh, maybe keep calling see if there's any others all right well considering this is the only one that's here and I don't see any of the other ones coming in we might as well uh, try to get this little guy down let's uh, run up to it with the 10 gauge and uh, blast away see how this does oh well then <laughs> he darted off as I shot and then we managed to get the second one to connect in fact I think the first one might have connected a little bit oh it did well then, okay, so the first one did connect, and then the second one really connected. Oh, that poor thing. That poor raccoon. Yeah, 10 gauge birdshot is a kind of insane on them. It's kind of crazy. That that was really good. Now we're going to have to hunt a lot more of raccoons with the 10 gauge, because that was phenomenal. And how did that one not spook off from the 10 gauge shot? Interesting. So while we're waiting for these two to come in, I guess I should probably show off what location this is. So we are right here near uh, Bingham Bayou. You can spawn in at this outpost and then just walk to the west. And uh, as you guys have seen, we've got three male raccoon here at the very minimum. There's probably some more, but we've seen one and heard two others. So it definitely is a pretty decent spot for the raccoons. Ooh, that is a heavy track right there. 10 to 13 kgs. This is definitely the one that called. It uh, didn't want to come to our caller, so I'm assuming that it was uh, nervous. But that's a really, really heavy raccoon track. This could be a 4 or a 5, so let's uh, try to track it down. Okay, so I see a raccoon somewhere in there. I can't quite tell what it is, though, so we're just going to have to rush it with the bird shot and uh, see if we can manage to get it down. It is a level 3 and uh, one shot of the 10 gauge bird shot and it is down this just might be the best thing to use on them because oh my gosh it absolutely destroyed that little guy so 
I think 10 gauge birdshot is gonna be the way to go on these little raccoons. It seems very, very good. Wait, I just heard, I think I just heard one. I'm almost positive I just heard a raccoon. They make the most subtle little sounds when they're close to you. Oh, yes, there it is, right there. There it is. Okay, that's a three. Oh my gosh, hello there. <laughs> There's also some uh, whitetail here. Well then, this is uh, definitely not the raccoon that we were tracking earlier. Uh, it's in the same feeding zone though. This definitely came from that feed zone. 9.50, not a bad one. Uh, just not what we were looking for. Because there's definitely that uh, 10 to 13 using the same zone. Unfortunately, the smaller one came over to us, so I guess we gotta wait again. Well, that's definitely not the same raccoon, and I don't know if we'll be able to get close enough to use the bird shot, but we uh, definitely can take it out with the 22 LR if we can get steady enough to actually hit it. There we go. And oh my gosh, there we go. We got another one into it. Uh, not exactly the raccoon we were looking for, but uh, once again, it's another one down. I'm just completely baffled as to where this uh, 10 to 13 kg one actually is. Every time I found it, it's been either spooked off or just hiding in places that I can't see it. I don't even know how this is going to go, but hopefully we can come across it soon. Well, there's this little guy right here. This was a uh, brown level 3, scoring 8 on the dot. Uh, pretty small one. Probably the smallest of the day, but we did just get another call from a raccoon over here. Hopefully this will be the one we're after. Uh, if not, then we're probably going to have to reset the time. There it is, 10 to 13 kg, a level 4 common raccoon. And uh, as you guys can see, we also have some whitetail feeding right in front of us. This is actually a pretty cool little spot. I do really like this area. I think it's probably one of the cooler spots that I have found to hunt. There's lots and lots of raccoons that have been coming into the calls. And there's also some whitetail in the area, so that is a, a pretty good situation, I'd say. I can definitely tell this is going to be one of the maps that you will want to have the improvised blind skill because it definitely does help with keeping yourself hidden. This bush right here is fully hiding us while we're standing, and that's making it so we can just call this raccoon in and not have to worry about spooking it off. And in fact, it should be getting close now. You know, I actually can't figure out where this 4 went, so I think we're gonna just go ahead and blast this level 3. And uh, if we can find the 4, then we'll take that as well, but it seems to have vanished. I cannot figure out where this thing went. That is just insane. This little level 4 has been so elusive this entire hunt. It just uh, keeps disappearing. We got this little three, but where did the four go? Well, there is a level four raccoon right there. It's uh, not the same one that we wanted. I decided to move on from that other one because it was just giving us uh, too much trouble. But we do have another four right here. Not nearly as nice, but at least it is a four. Let's uh, run up on it and see if we can get a shot into it. And just like that, that will be the end of that level 4 raccoon. And I believe this is the brown fur type, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. 10.10 uh, .10 on the score. Not too bad. That is the best raccoon that we've got today. Not too bad at all. I think at this point, we're probably going to move into multiplayer just to uh, give ourselves something different to look for. Because as of now, I haven't really found anything too crazy in my single player ever since we got the diamond and the melanistic during the early access portion. So I think we'll move over to multiplayer. But before we do, I did want to mention this is the second location that I find really good for raccoons. Pretty much this whole area around this outpost is really, really good for them. I've had some luck over here as well, but I find the, mo the majority of them are over here. So now we have two different locations that have lots of raccoons. You got near the Bingham Bayou where there's tons of them through there and then up here at Devil's Fork as well. So after we finished recording that last part of this video, I went to do the live stream for the day and about an hour or so into the stream, we ended up coming across a pretty sweet raccoon. So I think for the rest of this video, let's just jump into that and then uh, take a look at it in the lodge. Oh my gosh, we gotta chase this down. That's a blonde piebald. Blonde piebald track. 
Um, well, good luck finding this, but you know, maybe we can. <gasps> That's it. That's it right there. That's it right there. Oh my gosh, it's losing health. We're good. We got it. Oh my gosh. Blonde piebald raccoon, are you kidding me? And it's a male. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, guys. We got a blonde piebald raccoon. Holy. Well, this will go nicely with the video that's going up tomorrow. Let's uh, claim it before somebody kicks me or something like that. Blonde piebald male. Oh my gosh. There we go. That's so cool looking too. Let's go guys. Blonde piebald. Common raccoon. What a beauty. Those look so nice. I like that a lot. It's got like little specks throughout it. It's only a level 3. But that's really awesome. That's really awesome. That entire live stream, I was just looking out for raccoons, hoping that we could find ourselves a diamond or a rare that we didn't already have. And sure enough, we did finally end up finding one. And it uh, just happened to be a blonde piebald. And I am still very shocked that there is a piebald for each of the different fur types. And uh, somebody in chat was actually saying that there is a brown piebald as well. So that would make a blonde, brown, and gray piebald. Uh, I haven't actually seen a screenshot of the brown piebald, so that one still might not exist. But I have had a couple people say that they have seen it. So I guess there is uh, three different piebalds for the raccoons, which is really, really cool. And one of the things that's kind of interesting about these uh, piebald raccoons is uh, if you were to just look at it, you really can't tell too much that it's piebald until you compare it to a normal raccoon and you can see there's clearly less uh, black and different uh, colors in it. It's a lot more gray with some like speckles throughout it. I uh, definitely like it. I think it looks pretty sweet. Definitely unique compared to a lot of piebalds that we have currently in the game and uh, you know what? I kind of like it. But with uh, that being said, I think we will go ahead and end the video here. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss any future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below on what you guys would like me to hunt next here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and I will try to get to as many of them as I can. With that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all on the next one. Peace!